Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Urawaza Ego. My name is BJ Fox and this is my co-host Ishi Teremi. Minasan konnichiwa, ohayou gozaimasu, konbanwa, Urawaza Ego. Konshiu mo hajime te ikitai to omoimasu. Ishi Teremi desu. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Now, we are recording this a week after the sad news that Queen Elizabeth II has passed away. エリザベス女王がちょうど先週亡くなりましてそこからま一週間経って今日は収録をしておりますま、BJは、イギリスの出身ということで、I'm sorry for your loss. Well, thank you very much, Tenemi. And we are going to do a, a special episode, not in the honour of the Queen per se, that would feel a little bit weird, but discussing some of the language surrounding death. For example, what do you say when a colleague's family member dies? Hi, to you, Koto de Kyova, Matatoeba, Shokubano Dorio, no Gokazo, Ganakunata Tokini, Ego de Nanto Yeba Ika. BJ, I think even in Japanese, it is hard to know what to say. Yeah, they are difficult, awkward. Situations. なかなかあんまりない エリザベス女王が亡くなったということで、ま、誰もがね、ちょっと寂しいという気持ちは抱えてると思うんですけれども、実際イギリス出身のBJにとってどういう存在でいらっしゃったのかとかね、そういったことを聞いていきたいと思
70年間イギリス連邦の人たちは言ってたわけですけれども、yeah. え、クイーンズ・イングリッシュっていうのはエリザベス女王から来てるのその前はクイーンズ・イングリッシュって言わなかったの That is an excellent question. Thank you for asking. <笑> I think it must come from Queen Elizabeth. The second. Yeah. へえ、じゃあ。And I, and I, 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 just because、yeah. it feels like quite a modern phrase.、Uh-huh. And, you know, the Queen has been the only monarch in, let's say, in the age of media, in the age of TV, in the age of radio. Maybe, maybe radio is a bit of a stretch. But, It feels like a, a modern phrase, and she,、mm. and she was the only, you know, since the 50s. And there was no other, there probably no other monarch who was ever on TV in the UK because yeah, so we, didn't have, we didn't have the technology. Yeah. Queen's English, the 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 And when we say psych in the mono, a recent thing, it might be from the 60s or the 50s, but it doesn't feel, it feels like in the modern age, yeah.、Uh, mm. Okay. And, and also to be clear, when we say Queen's English, it refers to a specific accent, proper English English. Proper English English. BJ が話すようなイギリス英語のことを Queen's English って言うの I would say no. あ、それは違うんだ。Uh, yeah, I would say it's slightly accented. BJ の発音はちょっと違うのアクセントちょっと違う。Just a little bit. It's close to Queen's English, but it's a little bit. I use slang. あ、そういうことか。スラングとか使うからね。Yeah. Then who speaks Queen's English? Do you know who I think speaks the Queen's English? Who? My wife. Oh, wow. モナちゃん。Yeah, she's so she from has... yeah. a place、she's... called Kingston in the UK.、Mm-hmm. And it's just a little bit more. I don't know. So, why would you use the word posh actually? A little bit posh. Posh, the key to go down now. I'll say it's the. Oh, share. She got it. Yeah, not share. Go to 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 あロンドンの真ん中じゃなくてちょっと郊外の英語なのね。Yeah, and I'm a little bit too close to the middle. ちょっと BJ はロンドン中心に寄っちゃって、スラングとか出ちゃって、yeah. Queen's English とはちょっと違うのね。But also, interestingly, it used to be the case up to even like 20 years ago, if you wanted to be a BBC announcer, a news reader, you had to speak the Queen's English. Now,、uh, that is not the case. How different? How, how did it change?、Uh, now they actively put in different accents. So you will have a Welsh accent, you will have a Newcastle, Liverpool accent. You'll never get two people with the Queen's English speaking on the news. What, what? Diversity? Diversity. Kind of. Hey,、yeah. so なんだ Like, bef-、um, by the way, before this recent diversity, before SDGs, like yeah, yeah. coming from a long time ago, there was a movement to stop the BBC. And, and the UK being so London focused. BBC, もうそんなもうロンドンばっかりに注目、ロンドンフォーカスにならないようにって、そういうムーブメントがあったんだ。Yeah. で、昔は BBC とかでアナウンサーになるには、きれいなクイーンズ・イングレッシュを話さなきゃいけなかったけれども、yeah. もう今ではあえていろいろな地方のアクセントとかがあるようなアナウンサー。まあ、一人がクイーンズ・イングリッシュならもう一人がちゃんと地方のちょっと違う癖のある英語を話すとかそういったふうに変わってきてるのね。Yeah. And I, one,、mm. a final point on Queen's English. I don't know this for certain, but I would think that phrase will not change. It will not now become King's English. I think it will,、うん、I think it will stay as Queen's English. Queen、うんうんまあ、が亡くなったところでその言葉が今から変わることはないでしょうと、うん、いうことね。Yeah. So, question. So, As a 41 year old British man, how did I feel upon hearing the news that the Queen died? Yeah, I'm so curious. The actual answer is telling me, yeah, I'm sad, but I'm not sad, sad. Sad, but not sad, sad. Well, I'm not sure if I'm sad, but I'm not sad. 
本当に自分の身内が亡くなったかのように落ち込むとかそこまでではない。Yeah. You know,、mm-hmm. sad because someone died, someone's mum, someone's grandmother, and I recognize that she worked very hard in a job for a very long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But、mm. not sad, sad because A, she was 96.、Mm. And B, I've seen written on some newspapers that she was the country's grandmother, the nation's grandmother. Well, みんなの国のおばあちゃん Yeah. But、um, I certainly do not have those feelings. Ah, BJ, a son, a kimochi, a amari, naito. Demosa, news to come, meter to sa, Buckingham, q u e no mine, a tsmata, hitoga, mo, she was like my grandmother, m i t a i n a Like she was a large part of our lives, m i t a i n a koto you, janai, mina. I never saw you interview on yester no cana. Yeah, I think yeah, it's a certain type of person, a certain type of British person who feels that way. And I would、yeah. argue that many of my generation, and certainly below, do not share those feelings. Ah, so, BJ to some of the other side, I was so much in the same way. I was so much in the same BJ, if you were in London now, where do、yeah. you? You go to、uh, Buckingham Palace? No, I would not. No. Even not to the funeral? You can't. No, you can't. Ah, so. But I, I, I would watch the funeral on TV. I would ah, watch it. Yeah. Mama, mama, TV, I would watch it. Ah, mama, mama, TV, I would watch it. Yeah. I, think, I don't think we are, I don't think I am anti royal, but I'm not a royalist. アンティロイヤルではない王室、まあ、BJ は別に王室にわざわざ反対はしないけれどもロイヤリストロイヤリストってどうやって訳せばいいなんかえ辞書だと王党派 Yeah, someone who really well I think royalist back in the day in, Europe, in British history would mean someone who's very fights for the queen but now it's just someone who supports the queen うん王室が好き or, or not, Yeah, not the queen sorry yeah like you said 王室 the monarchy まあ王室が好きな人ってことでいいのかな I would say she was sad as well. But,、mm-hmm. you know, remember, she's from Belfast, Northern Ireland. She has an Irish passport. Ireland、ね、yeah, and they、mm-hmm. have a complicated relationship with the UK and the royal family. Ireland is the UK and the royal family. Ireland is the UK and the royal family. Ireland is the UK and the royal family. なんかあのスコットランドとかアイルランドとかアイルランドとかえスコットランドとかアイルランドとかね。Well, I, this would have to be another episode, but just suffice it to say that this year, 2022, is 100 years of independence in Ireland. アイルランドが独立して100年なんだ。Yeah. へえ。So, okay. Complicated relationship. Complicated, complicated ですね。Actually, like we said, this isn't an episode just about the Queen. I want to talk about the language we may need to use surrounding death. So, the old school is not the same. I think that the old school is the same. I think that the old school is the same. I think that the old school is the same. I think that the old school is the same. I think that the old school is the same. I think that the old school is the same. I think that the old school is the same. I think that the old school 周りの人がそしてまあ自分自身もねあの家族とかを亡くすことは避けられないですのでねはいこの機会にそういった言葉も知っておくに越したことはないですね Actually, first thing, Tenemi, for a slightly more in-depth discussion on being empathetic to someone who has suffered bad news, please listen to episode 107. エピソード107で、まあ、大変な状況にある人に共感するそういう時はどうするべきかっていうことをお話ししましたので、まあ、そちらのエピソードもぜひ参考にしていただけたらと思います
Um, in that episode, we interviewed the director of the English、uh, language suicide hotline. Hi, Teru, T E L L, Teru, no, Dai Hyo, no, Katani, interview, or Shimash, Tane, and Nihon, no, Inoch, no, Denwa, Ni, Chikai, my life line, Nan, Des, Kerido, Mo, Soko, no, Director, no, Katani, interview, or Shimash. And I wanted to do this episode today on this topic because since the Queen died, a few friends have said to me, I'm sorry for your loss. ジョーが亡くなってから BJ の周りのお友達から「I'm sorry for your loss」と言われたということですけれども。I just said it too. Yeah, you did. And I, I think this is a great phrase. Perfect for a family member. But to me, it feels a little bit strange to hear about the Queen. For me, I don't feel like I suffered a loss. はあ、I'm sorry for your loss。このフレーズというのは、もし家族を亡くした人が周りにいたんだとしたら、そういった人に。かける言葉としてはいいけれども、BJ にとっては、女王にが亡くなったことに関してこのフレーズを言われるっていうのは、ちょっとトゥーマッチな感じがする。Yeah. ちょっと言い過ぎ。Uh, yeah, like, I would never correct someone, to be honest.、Uh, in this case, maybe saying too much is better than not enough. お十分じゃないよりは、まあ、このケースだと、まあ、ちょっと言った方が。いいとは思うし、まあ、それでそういう言葉を人からかけられて、BJ はそれを訂正することもない。Yeah. けれど、well, actually, no, I was going to say, I think that's the worst thing to do. If a colleague has suffered a loss,、yeah. sometimes it feels so awkward, you ignore it. And I think that's the worst thing to do. ああ、なんか、オプション B って本にも書いてあったな。なんか、there's like a big elephant in the room, but、yes. everyone ignores、yeah. みたいなね。いや、みんなが気づいてるし、知ってるんだけれども、触れるのが難しいからって、みんながあのあえて何も言わないというか、なんて言っていいからわ、yeah. なんて言っていいかわからないから何も言わないっていう状況ってたまにありますけれども、yeah. それはやっぱり避けたいですよね。Yeah. And in that, and in that case, you know, this is a good phrase to learn. I'm sorry for your loss. もし同僚だとか周りのお友達で身近な人を亡くした方がいたら、I'm sorry for your loss. とお悔やみの言葉を伝えれば伝えるということね。Yeah. So BJ, what could I have said for your situation with a queen? Should、well, I just ignore? <laughs> no, don't ignore. I would say with the queen, you could have said a much lighter, I'm sorry to hear about the queen. I'm sorry to hear about the queen. Oh, I'm sorry to 何々までは一緒だけども。あ、your loss って言ったのがちょっと重かったんだ。Yeah, maybe, not, maybe not even omokata. It just doesn't feel applicable to me. I don't feel like I lost anything. Ah, ha ha ha. BJ が何か失ったっていうフィーリングがないから I'm sorry for your loss. という言い方はちょっと違和感があったけれども、mm. I'm sorry to hear about the queen だったらなんかそういった違和感はないわけね。Yeah, and this feels more conversational. It's less formal.、Um, and I would typically reply, thank you. It's very sad, or thank you, I appreciate that. Hi, I'm sorry to hear about the Queen. こっちの方が、まあ、もっと自然で、会話的で。Yeah. ということで、それに対して、それを言われたら BJ は、Thank you, it's very sad. ありがとうございます。まあ、悲しいですね。とか、まあ、ありがとうございます。そういった言葉で返事をするわけね。Yeah. And like, even t e l l me, you know, you could use this phrase, let's say England lost in the World Cup. You could say, I'm sorry to hear about England. えイングランドがサッカーで負けた時でもこれ同じフレーズ使っちゃっていいわけ Yeah, maybe like almost like a little joke, yeah. まあ、え、これってに、まあ、日本語の exact translation があるかわかんないけど、I'm sorry to hear that England lost とか Yeah. yeah. はあはあはあ。イングランドが負けて残念でしたね。残念だったね。みたいな感じ Yeah, but I think it's a little bit more funny. というのはあえてシリアスな言い方をしてるから。Yeah, yeah, yeah, I think that. Oh, 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 日本語で言うと、悔やみ申し上げますとか、ご愁傷様ですとか、yeah. それと、まあ、一緒って言っちゃっていいのかな、ちょっと自信ないけれども、yeah. 申し上げます。It, it, it turns、うん、the conversation quite serious. Like, if in a, in a business meeting, 
you know, you might not want to make it too serious. It puts a lot of focus on the other person as well. Haha, I'm sorry for your loss. Kono Kyogen wa keko serious na kanji ni narunda. De Koreo itteru hito ni mukete, itteru hito e no focus. Yeah. Ga takamaru to. So sometimes using the lighter phrase, I'm sorry to hear about your mother, your brother, or I don't know. It's recognizing the situation, yes, but a softer way might be better.、Mm, I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry to hear about you. I'm sorry to hear about you. I'm sorry to hear about you. I'm sorry to hear I'm sorry to hear about you. 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 まあ、ちゃんと相手の状況も認識しているし、それでいてフォーマルになりすぎずということですね。Yeah. Yeah. And one more final phrase, tell me, my condolences. My condolences. Now, this feels more like a set phrase. You often see it on funeral cards.、うん、お葬式のカード、うん。お悔やみ申し上げますですね、これは。Yeah.、うん um, And, but again, you can use it in a workplace with clients, bosses, or maybe friends too. This is a good thing. My condolences. Yes. Yeah. Ha, ha. My condolences on your mother. My condolences on your loss. Ha, ここ、ね mm. ha, my condolences on your My condolences on your dare dare. This is a good thing. My condolences on your mother. My condolences on your mother. Yeah. My condolences on the Queen. Yeah, and that feels much more appropriate. It's polite as appropriate for the Queen, but doesn't focus too much on my own personal loss. So, no, you got a okay, no, 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 ところにフォーカスを当てすぎることもなくと。じゃやっぱりさっきからね、I'm sorry for your loss っていうのはな、なんか失ったっていうその感じがちょっと、yeah. なんか違和感があるわけね。Yeah. うんうんうん。One final language aspect surrounding death is you may have noticed if you read any news about the Queen's death is we rarely say she died. うん。彼女が亡くなったっていうニュースの表現で、she died という英語は出てこないですね。Yeah, we say she passed away. はあはあはい、she passed away. She passed away. Die is equal to pass away. It's not a good thing. 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 I think it's softer. Maybe it is like Keigo, but I don't think saying dying is rude. Like in normal speech, if I was talking to producer Ruben, like probably last week, I might have asked him, Oh, how did you feel about the Queen dying?、Mm. That's not rude. So, pass away is not like r e g i Tadashi? No, I think it's more. I think it's. More showing kindness and consideration to the person,、mm. to the people who suffered the loss.、Mm. で例えば BJ がルーベンに How did you feel about the queen dying? 女王が亡くなったことについてどう思ったどう思うっていうそういった質問の中で Queen dying ってその die って言葉を使うのはこれは別に失礼とかじゃなくて Yeah, like Ruben, if I said How did you feel about the queen passing away? That would feel a bit weird, wouldn't it? それはだから BJ とルーベンの間柄だからこういう言い方あのダイイングって言っても大丈夫ってこと、mm, I think it's more because passing away is showing respect to someone who has suffered a loss. So because Ruben, like we were talking about, the Queen doesn't really feel like a loss、yeah. on, a, on a one-to-one basis. It would just feel a little bit strange to be using such a soft word. じゃあ BJ がもし太くて多数の人に What I thought about Queen's dying. で、その例えばなんかどっかでスピーチするとしたらその時はもうちょっと。Yeah, I would say pass away if it was a speech. ああ、yeah. じゃあそこはなんか話してる相手の人との関係性で、yeah. ちょっとはあ、ははあ yeah. もしルーベンに対してそれ使ってたらなんでそんなに
なんかわざわざ配慮してんのっていう違和感があるわけね。Actually, probably when this came up was when I asked BJ, you know, how were you going to talk about this on stage? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because we had a show that night. Oh. You got to say something. You have to say something. You can't ignore the fact I'm British and the Queen died. Okay, news, so、right? did everyone talk about her? Not everyone.、Mm. Some people did. And not, and not necessarily in a, not in a nasty way or anything. anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you yeah, just yeah. had to recognize.、Mm. Yeah. ジョーが亡くなったことについてどう話すのみたいな時に、まあ、それを英語で言うと「How are you gonna talk about Queen's dying?、Yeah.」という,、うんうんうん、そこでは「dying」っていう言い方をするわけね。Yeah. But going back to a work situation where maybe a colleague has lost someone, you would say passed away. You would say I'm sorry to hear that your XYZ mother, father, grandfather passed away. I'm sorry to hear that your 誰々 passed away. Yeah. Okay, I mean, no, but to stick to me, Kaker to Kinu are passed away, pass away. Do you feel you know? The car, so ne, Hanaster, Sto, I tell you, Tot, the do you, Son, Zai, that the cut, you know, point on in our own. Okay, one final point, Teremi. Hm. On dying. As comedians, when do we use the phrase dying? Comedian to stay, and like a sberry sigi, the shinda to Kaso, you know? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. Are, are you, ne? Um, yeah, we say, I died tonight. I died tonight. Yeah, I died tonight. Yeah, I died tonight. 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 I died t o n よく言うフレーズというよりはねそういうボケをする人がたまにいるのよね、yeah. その、okay. あの静かすぎてエアコンの音がすごい聞こえたとかね。Yeah. Well, well, anyways. まあ、その。ああ、一緒じゃん。Yeah, we can hear crickets. すごいイギリスっぽいね。あじゃあどっかでやってるクリケットの音が聞こえたわみたいな。No, no, 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 え、クリケットああ、そっち、キリギリスセミの音が聞こえた。静かすぎてセミの音が聞こえた。Yeah. クリケット、yeah. クリケあれ、スポーツのクリケットってクリケットっていう ?Yes, but, we, yeah, but that would be, that would be, that would be quite a funny joke.Yeah, yeah, it was so q u i e y e a h クリケット from the other side of the, the earth とかさ。Yeah. Actually, クリケット、the sport can be very noisy too, right? When the Australians are playing. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, so that was a serious episode of Uruwaza Ego. It is a sad topic, but I think in the UK we have a different relationship to our royal family than Japan does with theirs. Hmm. Well, I'm going to tell you about the fact that the Elizabeth Joe is going to be a good thing. I'm going to tell you about the fact that the Elizabeth Joe is going to be a good thing. I'm going to t e l と王室の関係っていうのは日本とはちょっと違うと。Yeah. Okay. I thought it was closer or like everyone would adore, like、oh, really? everyone loves her.、うん、なんかそういうイメージだったけど、必ずしもそうではないんですね。Yeah.、Uh, I guess from a Japanese media perspective, it's quite straightforward. You know, the Queen died, British people love the Queen, fish and chips, the Beatles, everyone goes to Buckingham Palace. But actually, it's a little bit more complicated than, than that. ははなるほど、ジョーが亡くなってイギリス国民がみんな悲しんでて、まあ、イギリスといえばフィッシュチップスでビートルズで、はい、そんな単純な話ではございませんと。Yeah. だってビートルズは私の方が詳しいもんね。Exactly. <笑>、um, はいはい。As we said in the episode, when someone does die,、うん、you know, do address it, don't ignore it, and always be respectful. まあ大人になっても身近にこう大事な方を亡くしたっていう人がいたら、お悔やみの言葉をかけるっていうのはあまり
そういう状況もね頻繁に起こるわけじゃないですから結構難しいことだと思うんですけれども、まあ、無視をするっていうのが一番いけないことだと思うので、まあ、声をかけてでまあ敬意を払いましょう自分の気持ちをちゃんと相手に伝えられるといいですよね。And that's the end of the episode. We'll see you again next week for another episode of Uruwaza Ego. はい、裏技英語皆さんまた来週お会いしましょう。皆さん元気でね。バイバイ。